Madison, I don't want to embarrass you in front of the rest of the family, but your bathroom breaks are becoming very problematic. Are you checking your phone on the tee? We have two new members of our household, and that means that we have to be more aware of how we share this space. Using your tea time to look at the internet is very unhelpful and also unsanitary. Remember that Lynx disease spreads amongst a family like a fire. My new brother-in-law or whatever is so weird. He keeps drawing these pictures of what he thinks is Boomy the Cat, and they look so bad. I'll have to take some pictures of them and show you. Also, I think he's like making up other characters. I'm not a big Boomy fan or anything, but I'm pretty sure there's no cat who's all pink. Can you pick up the kids today? Also, I think we have raccoons living in the garage. I'm going to have a pest control man come and see if he can lay some traps, but I'd recommend you get anything valuable, sensitive, or fragile out of the garage until we can figure out how to get whatever is living in there out. We need to come to some decisions very soon about how much of you and Jack's stuff we can keep versus give to charity. You're dead. You're a dead body. Thanks for registering to be a Boom Cadet. You should receive your blast package in 8 to 10 weeks. Make sure to run as fast as a sonic boom and ask your parents permission before sending any signed materials, photos, or fan art materials back to Boom Central. And remember, Boomy is the bluest, fastest cat around. A worm infestation. What? I think that there's there are more worms out here than I than I'm used to seeing. Where are they Could close come, to the house? Come take a look at these worms. I can't. They're, I can't they're really right close. Now, but, uh, come on, uh, come on. Uh, outside I, with the for the worms. Listen, yep. I I can't yep. do it right now at this moment. What are you doing? I'm making a surprise. Okay, okay. Make your surprise. I got to go deal with these worms. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Good luck.
Make sure they're not near the house. All right, bye. Ann? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hi, Ann. Hi. Hey. How are you? I just got I just got uh, out of, out of the uh, out of that that uh, that meeting. Okay. That that uh, it's, that video conference. How did it go? I don't know. I mean, it's, I feel okay about it. It just makes. Uh, I, I'm glad it's over. I can tell you that. I, I, I can finally leave the. Uh, the uh, you know, the living room. Right. <laughs> Do you feel less nerve wracked than you did this morning? Yeah, I think I'll probably have a really nice uh, sleep tonight. Oh, um, that's great. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Where are you? Oh, uh, I'm I'm folding these curtains up here. Um, up, and up here? Yeah, I was just noticing that the, the you, where's up here? On the third floor. Huh. Yeah. Did you notice that these curtains have just been like the the sun has really done a number on them. They're just totally faded. Isn't that funny? I think that is so funny. It's uh, funny. I, yeah. Remember <laughs> when that, uh, me and Jackson had the apartment and we yeah. had the the couch up against the window. Uh huh. And that morning sun would come and right. it would wake us so up. Nice. And it was it was really nice. It was very. I loved that place. Oh, it's uh, so nice. I hope yeah. Jackson remembers it as fondly as I remember it. Well, wow, but the like couch, younger, yeah, isn't that funny, right? The couch that had had that perfect faded, like a rectangle, uh-huh. where the That's sun would hit it one. every morning. Yeah. Right. Oh my gosh. Well, do you think uh, we need to get new curtains then, or what? We could probably order them online, right? Yeah. Oh. I was just about uh, to go online. Oh, that's great. Yeah, would you do me a favor and order us? Well, then what should we do with these old curtains? I think we should just trash them. But listen. Uh Uh-huh. There's a sale. Where? On. There's a sale on these dog costumes. Uh Uh-huh. It's like a family of, of, of four dog costumes. But you know I didn't want to be a dog for this. I... I... These are really good. I well, mean, they are how, really how good. How is the sale? Okay, well, maybe you just get three then. I think these are, this is like a fire sale. I think this place is going out of business. Okay. So, look, I'll get these dog costumes and the curtains. Okay, okay. All right. Do you All think right. that, oh, do we still have that couch? Should I use these curtains to, to, to the mend the back the of the couch? The couch from the old apartment? Yeah. I don't know where that went. Oh, well, me neither. So maybe it's maybe it's long gone. It's not okay, in the basement. Okay, where are you gonna where are you gonna keep? Oh, did you check the basement? Yeah, you. The basement is it's a. Uh, there's that one room in the back. You know, right. I never noticed that before. Oh, oh my gosh! Maybe the couch is in there. Yeah. Well, it's, okay. it's locked. Well, how you you've never been in there. I I I I must have been since since me and Jackson moved in, I must have been in the basement probably seven or eight times. 
Okay. But I literally never even noticed that door before. Oh, huh. I guess I just haven't been back there for a while either. Hey, oh, what's I'm... the uh, what's the security code on your uh, on your card there? That little three digit number on the back? Uh, one four three. Can you come up here? I can't reach this. I can't reach the top of those curtains. Okay. I got, but I'm. I, okay. Hold on. I'm, I'm ordering the dog costumes. Okay, that's fine. Just come up here when you're done, so you can help me. Two days shipping. Uh, that's the one that's you're going to be right? here in two days. Yeah, when yeah. Do, when do they usually deliver those packages? Uh, oh yeah, usually in the early afternoon. So yeah, definitely, I'll be here. All right. I just don't want anyone to steal these these. Uh, these uh, no dog one's costumes. going to steal your dog costumes. They're very cute, but then no one's going to take them. Oh, honey, right. I, I'm so nervous. Honey, come up. It's fine. It'll be fine. Just come here and help me with credit this. card information over the phone. Ay, yeah, yeah. You're being ridiculous. You think come up here. Cancel the credit okay. card after after. Honey, the, I mean, obviously we're going to get the dog costume. Over. Re- yes, you're overreacting. Okay, I'm going to go. Come up here and help me with this, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, oh, the curtain. I didn't get curtains. Did you spy without getting the curtains? Uh, I, I, yes. <sighs> okay. Well, I'll leave them up then. What color are they? They're blue. That's it? What I've bur- seen them. They're out there on the third floor. You know what they look like. They're the blue ones in the back of the house with all the sun. There's so many, there's parts of the house I just don't really have a mental picture of. You know, what do you mean? Just... You've been here all for right. so long. Okay, fine. Just all, okay. Right. all right, all right. I love okay. you. I love you back. Okay, bye. Bye. Madison, I found cigarettes underneath the gazing globe in the backyard. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt this one time and assume they are not yours. But if I ever find cigarettes in this house, I am going to come down on you like a divvy wind. I am serious. I will not have my daughter smoking like a delinquent. You need to get your priorities straight. There's too much going on right now for me to have to deal with this. Mom, chill. Those are grandmas. You should just ask her before acting like a psycho to me. It's totally unfair. I keep telling you I don't smoke. character my book died. Are you 
Okay. You want to go out to dinner tonight? Okay. Yeah. Bring all the kids together. Uh, I don't know. Pizza? Pizza sounds great. What was the character's name? Frankie. Poor Frankie. Try to. What are you talking about? It's. <sighs> Do you know what Prime Minister's Questions is? <laughs> What's Prime Minister's Questions? It's. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's when the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom stands up in Parliament. And the opposition party asks him questions, and they you know they yell at him. Oh. It's really loud, and it's very everyone gets really animated. Prime Minister's questions. <laughs> I would. I would give anything. <laughs> Yes, Prime Minister! <laughs>
The lab results are back in, and I'm happy to inform you that the samples you've brought to the office last week have been confirmed lynx-free. I hope this news finds you well and that you can finally feel resolved. Lynx has become a big issue in our community, and it's going to be up to the people like you to help stop it from becoming a bigger one. That said, this is the fourth set of samples you've brought to our attention, and I'm concerned that you are taking these matters perhaps too seriously. Remember that we have other patients to whom we have to show the same amount of care and attention as we have to you and your family. Try and take these lab results to heart. If you continue on bringing me and my staff these samples, I may have to ask you to find another physician. Hey honey, I want to get rid of the TV. Jack, I need you to hide something for me. My mom is really pissing me off. Can I put a box behind your bed? I'll give you a cigarette. Man's here. Do I have to sign for anything? The mailman? Yeah. He brought those, those I think it's their dog costumes. He, should I, should I the, sign for anything? or or? Wait, hold on. He's okay. at the door? Yeah, I'm here. Come, come well, down normally they just, Normally they just drop him off. Oh. I don't oh. think you have to sign for anything. Oh, okay. Okay. Never mind. You just let him drop them off. Okay. okay. Yeah, they're fine. Thank you. Okay.
You're right. Uh, all right. All right. I'll, I'm bringing it in. All right. Uh, okay. Did you tell Madison about this? No, I think that she's going to be surprised. I think she's going to be very surprised. <laughs> no, very nobody sure. expects to wake up a dog, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Don't I know it? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, right. we should put on a on a movie later. Oh, okay, that sounds great. Can we order a pizza? Oh man, what a night! Yeah, let's order a pizza. Yeah, you gotta, you know, I I think we really gotta let him have a have a have a nice nice relaxing night because tomorrow we're open up with those, those boxes. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I'm getting the camera out. Oh man, forget about it. Okay. All right, all right. Peace it is. Okay, bye. All right, peace. You're not going to believe this. What's up? A character in my book just died. Oh, honey. I know. I'm so sorry. Can you come here, please? Where are you? Uh, I'm on the back porch. All right. I'll be there in a moment. I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm really sorry. Okay.
I really don't want to do that. Your grandma is always moving stuff around in our home. And she complains to Anne whenever she thinks I'm being messy. Can you just hide it in the yard? It's okay. I won't tell. Tom, for the last time, we can't afford to go to Africa. This vacation is supposed to be relaxing and enjoyable, and I can't imagine relaxing there with a newborn. I wish you could just enjoy having this special family time and not worry so much about where we are going. You need to focus on your relationship with Madison right now because I know she's having trouble adjusting to you and Jack being in the house now. Let's not overcomplicate things, please. Honey, I just got a notification that those tickets to Pry have dropped into our price range. I really, really think that we as a new family could benefit from an adventure like this. I know that the kids had their hopes set on Orlando, but I really think a big crazy trip like this could be so full of memories and unique experiences. The kids might not appreciate it right away, but I think when we're sitting in a backy face to face with a giraffe, they might forget all about some silly scripted theme parks. Also, I've been reading some really cool hip travel guides about traveling in South Africa, and it sounds very safe for the most part. And if we act soon, we could get some good deals on travel packages that will include a lot of nature stuff in museums. Come on, baby, let's go to Africa. Jack, I need you to forward me the revised guest list as soon as possible. If we are going to ensure that as many of your friends as possible are in attendance, I need to coordinate with their parents ASAP. If you want, I can reach out and pull a few favors from parents in the neighborhood. Love you, Anne. Dad, Anne is asking me for a guest list. I don't know anyone at the new school yet, and no one will talk to me. I feel weird handing out invitations because no one wants to go to a party for a kid they don't know. Can we invite my friends from the old neighborhood instead? Hey, honey. Hey, hey. Have you eaten yet? Not yet. What's up? You haven't eaten? Not yet, no. Why? All right. Uh, I was thinking about ordering a pizza. Okay. Go ahead and order a pizza. <sighs> What should I what should I get on it? Oh, uh, maybe some mushrooms and maybe some <laughs> Hey! Today we're going to be making a three-tiered pot, and that's with clay. And this is a special kind of clay. This is gray, 12-gauge granular clay, and the, gra the grains in granular clay, that's my little secret. So let's get started. Now this is just a warning before you get started. If you're handling clay that comes from a prison yard, you might want to, you're going to have to wash your hands before and after using it because it's uh, one of the easiest ways in the world to get lynx disease and that doesn't wash off. And check this out. This is our base, and if you've ever eaten cake or made cake, you know it comes on what? Cardboard. So we got a piece of cardboard down, and that's just gonna make, make the, the, the base, like the foundation. Now, if you live in a house, there's a basement, and if you're making something out of clay, there's the cardboard. We're gonna start off 
with a couple just layers of clay. Check that out. See how smooth it is? And that's the grain from the 12 grains I was telling you about. I like to just have a cup of water on hand and I wet my mallet. Now this is fun. If you uh, hate someone, if you have hate in your heart, then I suggest working with clay because it's a good way to hit things with a hammer. That's our base. And I have a blue splat knife and the blue splat knife will just Smooth out any imperfections you have in your life, in your family, in your home. So that is layer number one. And if you want a smooth edge, you can use a ring knife. And this is a loophole that just cuts off the edging. We're gonna move over to the wheel. We're gonna kind of build up a sort of a gland. And that's gonna, Hold, hold it together. So I'm just going to, again, flatten the top. I'm just going to cut, cut. And we're going to get a good piece to work, work our wheel with, right? So I'm just going to get this going, show you how this works. If you have sadness or evil in your heart, like I said, working with clay, it's the best medicine. It also cures Lynx, Lynx disease. disease. So keep that, keep that in mind. I'll have information about that up on the web. Lynx disease. You don't want to get it, but you do want to get rid of it with clay. So now we're going to move over to the wheel. <coughs> the wheel is the oldest tool in the sculptor's hand book and this wheel is just a regular wheel and it spins you can also use a discus player or a record player perfect baby baby come on come on baby baby come on yes yes all right and here we are again what does that look like a tornado an upside down tor tornado or sort of a weather front, and you can imagine this big lump at the end, that's kind of a cumulus cloud. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna, add, we're gonna add more clay. Now this is sort of a, a piano wire or guitar string, and you can imagine a sort of more talented person than myself stringing it onto a, a wooden gourd and just playing Malaguena, which is a beautiful song that I actually do know how to play. So we're back at the wheel and it's spinning. We just want to add to it. Here we go. Now this is looking really good. Keep adding clay, keep adding bulk. So again, what do we do? Cut clay, add bulk. Bulk to body, bulk to life. Whoa, geez. All right. Now just a reminder to everyone, I can say shit three times, two times. I said it once when I was explaining what I can do. When you get into the zone, you're working at light speed, and you can just add, add clay. Hey, uh, Sam, if you're watching, what does this remind you of? Remind you of anything? Maybe people make mistakes, and they end up in a private prison that they don't want to be in for years, and they get Lynx disease. And, and, and is the right thing to do to uh, leave that person? Sam, if you're watching, this is for you, baby. This happens. So you're probably looking at this stack of clay and saying, you're never gonna get through it. There's too much clay. Well, guess what? It's not too much. 
It's just right because you know what I didn't say? We're gonna make something amazing tonight. Work. gonna keep working we're not gonna worry about that puddle we're just going to keep our eye on the prize and we're going to Ooh, there are a lot of cords on the ground and I just don't want links I'm touching clay now I'm touching it and I'm I'm making I'm making peace in this life because if I, if I don't if I don't work with clay I'm gonna just hang myself with a noose and I'm just gonna go uh, lay down in a stream and get min minnow bites, and and I I'll inject m links right into my heart. So now we have our our our, our skeleton, our structure made. We're gonna move it back to our house, to our home, where it's gonna live, and then we're gonna add the rest of the um. Okay, so here I have my slicing blade, and this is the kind of thing you kill someone in a, in like a spy movie, but we're not in a spy movie, we're just playing with clay. Don't get links. Okay, so see, you go around the base and you cut, oh, beautiful. Kind of lost it in there. Whoa, that is part of it now. One! Yes. <laughs> and it's free. It's pretty easy and it's actually lighter than it looks. And we're gonna just kinda get it right there on the base and that is how it starts. So that's just step one. This is about a nine step process. This is looking good and it's this stage where we like to add in some more supports because it's getting big. It's getting kind of out of hand. So what are we gonna do? We're just gonna add in another support. And that kind of secures the whole structure. Prime your supports. Prime them. Some people call it slick and some people call it slap. <coughs> I just call it water. I'm not gonna drink it though. Let's add color. Beautiful. Now that is just a touch of red paint. And that adds kind of a, your own flavor, your own kind of unique look to your piece. Sometimes when God closes a door, he opens a window. But sometimes he also closes that window. That's lynx disease. We're just gonna clean up our piece and we're just gonna add a few more accents. And I'm not talking about the racist kind. <coughs> you make me whole. So now it's that time to add hair to our piece. And let's just dapple it on. And it's only gonna stick to the stickiest parts. I'm just uh, <laughs> playing around and I'm, I'm, I'm uh, this, is, this is like jazz. Now I often get asked, where was I when I was arrested? And where, where did the crime take place and who else was with me? And like I keep telling them, I was alone. I, I was, was alone. alone. I acted alone and it's my responsibility to deal with the consequences of my Mo! actions. Wait. To the piece. Way, way to go. If you look at that, it's almost like she's back. And she's back in my life. Ah! 
<laughs> I'm just having fun. Look what we did here today. Look at what we accomplished. I didn't do it alone. I had help. I had the help of years of a free body, free of Lynx disease, free of that X. And, and, and this is my expression of beauty. And it goes in your house. And you can put it on your on, on things that you love. And you can give it as gifts to people you love. Make art every day. And don't smoke. Wow. And to think that was just clay only a few moments ago. I want to thank you all for watching this show. I hope I've inspired you to get your hands a little wet and wild. And I guess I'll see you later. Clay nice, everybody. Clay night. Sir, have I got a big problem. This particular grain of clay you recommended just doesn't stand up. I've watched your show for a long time and keep notes and instructions, but my citadel sculptures keep falling over. Is there another grain of clay that keeps it together better? I'm trying to impress someone. Welcome to the Sculptor's Clay Ground. Welcome to the Clay Ground, friend. Thank you for visiting the Clay Ground. There is only one reason you are here to experience the freedom that comes with touching hands to clay and to seek extra peace in this life while also creating something beautiful that will outlive all humans. Clay works are beautiful in all forms and should always be shown off or given as gifts. If you're here then you already took the first step in what I hope will be hundreds of steps that will lead to walking on a path. The path is a journey and the path is the correct way to take that trip. There are no shortcuts just more paths. Some paths are quicker. So let's get started. Poem. I am a criminal. I am a river. I pour my guilt into the ocean and my crimes sail away. Boats are my lawyers. What is clay? This is a really good question. What is clay? Clay is something special for sure. You can buy clay in almost any store, but you really shouldn't. Clay is special for sure, but the clay they sell in big box stores just doesn't cut it. Literally. My dive. If you want to make a timeless piece that stands the test of time, you need to get clay from a prison yard. Period. Clay that comes from prison yards are all natural. Prisons are built near streams and tributaries for a reason. The buildup from these waterways are worked by the prisoners, and clay is the byproduct. This is the best clay in the world. Fact. In an American private prison, this means 12 gauge granular clay. This is the best. Make something beautiful. Share it with the world. Use the clay. Anything else I should know? Yes, clay also has healing properties. And guess what? It cures Lynx disease. Impossible? No, because guess what? I had Lynx. I don't anymore. I used clay as a drug, like a doctor's drug. And it worked. Clay can also cause Lynx in some cases too. More info below. Is clay art? No, you gotta do something to it. What is art? Art is a result of years of hard work. Think you're an artist? Think again. You are not. Next week you might be an artist, but you are not good enough yet. I am an artist. Want proof? Proof. I made this in the clay grounds in 1996, and guess what? It's still around impressing people. Sam took this photo. Call me if you want the photo back. Another piece from the clay ground. This sculptor was one of thousands of works of arts I made while I was locked up in one of Americans' private prisons. These prisons are for profit. They are like the opposite of art. I had to do devastating things to make this sculptor. 
I took clay from the prison yard and took it to my secret clay ground. My hands worked the material all night, and I felt my strength return to me. Once I had completed the sculpture, I showed one of the nice guards out of the prison, and guess what? She let me out. Yes, we had female guards. While making this piece, titled Sammy, I first held the healing properties of the clay. I had been suffering from stage 5 links, and guess what? I was dying. After weeks of secret sculpting, I felt like I was back to 100% full health. Capitalism doesn't work. Period. My catchphrases. These are just for fun, but people seem to like them, so they are going in the clay ground. Where is that happening? Let's wait till we hear it from the dog's mouth. No time to worry about old stuff. Where's my treat? <laughs> LOL. A word on Lynx disease. You are not safe. Period. Nothing you do will protect you 100% from getting Lynx. I thought I was safe, but guess what? I was dead wrong. How do I get Lynx disease? First of all, don't. You don't want to get it. You do want to get rid of it. You get it from some waters. Not washing your hands. Handling some clays. Sex is one way. It is airborne. It's in the air. Some water filters actually put links in water. Too much exercise is a way. Needles. Where is that happening? Do I have links? Yes, you do. You have it. Symptoms. All of the symptoms of links are different for each person, but some of them are disturbingly similar for everyone. Here's the number one system of links. Yucky ear. This is a photo of my ear, and this was the first symptom I got. I woke up one morning with perfect pitch. I have always been a pitchy singer, and I couldn't never hit the high notes on songs, so I was shocked and horrified to find out I had perfect pitch. I looked in the mirror and I had yucky ear. This is the beginning of a horrible journey that sucked. I traveled many shitty trails and paths. It ruined my life. Arm spot. This spot shows up. You have links. Game over. Yes, you do have links. You're getting really good at singing, and people are starting to take notice. That's the links. Oh, and guess what? It's also killing your whole body, and you can't write songs about that. Maybe you didn't wash your hands or something, but anyways, there's no time to worry about old things. Links will ruin your life, and you're treating everyone around you like dog shit. Sam, I'm so sorry. But some of this is your fault too, okay? I am not happy about this. This my hand now. Forever. Letter to Sam. I need you back. My legs are cramping up. I miss you so much, baby. I, I know I did something really bad, I know. But, like, come on. I don't think you realize how weird you were to me. I think your phone is broken or something because I tried calling and it sounded all weird. Anyways, I still have some of your pedals and gears in the basement. Love ya. The Clayground Gallery. The Dancer's Cave sold $99,000. Sam's Pajama, not for sale. The Surrogate's Prayer sold $80,000 on display. The World's Glass Cup fired ceramic clay, $3,000. This one is sold, sorry. The Bush Family Are War Criminals sold $200,000. This one is part of a private collection of good art. Alternate angle. Thanks for coming to the site. to go to Orlando, uh -huh. and we use it to go out of the country somewhere. Oh, oh. That's... I was going to know. Come on. That's mm -hmm. much too expensive. No, it's not that expensive. Orlando's expensive. All the hotels yeah, and all the theme parks we're going to eat out every night. What if we used that money, mm -hmm. and we got a... What if we went to Cape Town? Are you out of your mind? I'm not out of my mind. You could totally afford it. There's Paris in Cape Town. workspace and check this out this is our base and if you've ever eaten cake or made cake you know it comes on what heavy metals and uh, newspaper that's, that's newspaper going in the backyard that's where the tomato plants go in the summertime why do you think the tomatoes are so big in the summertime that's a good question
the last time we were at the mall with all of her friends, she left me sitting in the car for an hour, Tom. An hour. We got her that cell phone so that she could call us. She has her cell phone, or she's not calling us. I'm just calling. Um, that's, I mean, look. Kids, just, she's a kid. She's hanging out with her friends. They're doing lots of stuff. They're finding all the nooks and crannies that's in the world. That's fine. That's you fine. Just, just let, let me know it. about it then. Well, that's the it's whole totally unfair. That you're not supposed to know about it. And this is a special kind of clay. This is gray, 12 gauge granular. When she's ready? I'm ready whenever you're ready. She's been there for two hours. Let her do it. Let her do what, Tom? Just stay laying on the floor like a Write her own story. She's a novel. Madison, you think you're being so cute, huh? You're better. I'm gonna show I'm everyone how cute you are. This is just another. This are, is just right another. Behind. This is more evidence Madison, for her to say that. You look. There's ways in the world to get Lynx disease. If you want to say something to us, now's the time. Now, Do the talking to us. Start time. with number three. <laughs> your mother, I whatever. I guess asshole. your mother's ready to talk. Are you kidding talking me? Talking tips. You I'm ready whenever side, you're ready. I'm on, I'm on everybody's side, you know that. I'm on everybody's side. I'm, oh, yes, lay out on the floor. Wet, wet, and, like the inside of uh, a, a body, a warm body. And the first time you do this, you're going to have a hard time, but I'm not having a hard time at all because I've done this many times. playing Malaguena, which is a beautiful song that I actually do know how to play. So, we're back. Madison, get up. Here we go, Madison. Remember the countdown. Six, seven. Family space, and you can get up and you can join the family. And you can sit and have a conversation, or you can get up and you can go to your own space. Either way, it is time. What? Prime Lynx. That is disgusting. <laughs> ah. oh. And something's wrong. What do you mean something's wrong? She's Madison, what did you do? Madison, she's stuck. Madison? What do you mean she's stuck? Madison, what did you do? Madison? She's why, out. why are you talking she's to her? Completely out. Out. She's completely out. She's not moving. What do you mean she's not she's moving? She's not moving. Tom. She's stuck. Oh, Tom, what is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you? Whoa, whoa. She's not moving. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God, Tom. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes! Oh, my God. Yes! Yes! Is she breathing? Can you hear her? Is she okay? Did you take pills?
Well, hello. I miss you. So again, water's your friend, and I know if you're allergic to water, you're gonna want. There's, um, there's a reasonable explanation for all this. We could just maybe there's like a something we could put under something a lever on a pillar. Oh shit! Oh! oh!
Honey? Honey? Hey, hey. honey. Hey, how's it going? Hi. It's going all right. Oh, good. Yeah, I can see you out there. I know. Don't look it go, out. Look at all these don't, holes. Don't go too far, they'll say. I'm not going <laughs> to. Look, look at these, all these holes I have. Don't get out. I, um, no, listen, I, I... I've got the... I got this um, picture frame, and it, uh-huh. it's fa- it's it's falling to pieces, and okay. uh, I need some nails. Oh, and oh, I think oh! I saw some out there in the backyard. Yeah, definitely. I know just where you mean. But take a look. Do these do these holes look big enough? See, honey, yeah, I see them. I see them. I'm, I'm thinking. Okay. I don't do know. You want, should I do one or two more? Oh, here, I'll bring you, you the nails and we can look from the window. Okay about them? Do you I think, they're, do you I think feel... they're great, but I just wanted your opinion. Oh, <laughs> sorry. You're fine. Oh, I guess, oh, my God. You okay? There's a, yeah, there's like a, a bee in here. Oh, gosh. All right, I'm going to come bring you the nails, okay? All right, see ya. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. You can take your planning a high-speed rail between L.A. and Las Vegas, the Chinese are. How about that? We're planning it, not the Chinese. No, they're out there. It's a Chinese, a state-run Chinese company. It's making our railroad. Well, I mean, you don't see... Because they make everything else, hmm? It's crazy to me. You can take a train to Reno, but you can't take a train to Las Vegas? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh. You should huh. be a train there. Tom, did you did you ever go to the eye doctor? Yes. And what did he say? He said that my right eye is out of focus, but not by a lot. So you got glasses? No. He said that it was not enough for him to recommend getting glasses. He said that as long as my left eye is taking up the slack, which is currently that I should have, you know, a good five or six more years before I need to make that change. I have a hard time believing that an optometrist with an opportunity to sell you some glasses wouldn't have sold you any glasses. Well, it's all the new, it's all the new health care bill. Mm. That's all that, it's, it's all about preventative. It's not about, it's not, you don't get paid for the, the same things you used to if you're a doctor. So what did he say? Less screen time for you? He's gonna, no. He said the screen is fine. Look, if I can't see something on the screen, I'll just zoom in. It is what? It's not a problem.
But he wants me to spend a little bit more time uh, doing this thing as if, which is, you know, if I am doing something where I have something very close to my face for a long period of time, for like an hour or something like that, he wants me to spend every 10 minutes, spend 10 seconds looking at something that's at least 20 feet away. It's like an eye exercise or something? Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you been doing that? I tried. Does it feel better? I mean, I can't tell. It's not, it's not like, my eyes don't hurt. I just have a blurry eye. Well, maybe we should just get you some glasses. I don't want to get glasses. You know what, you know who wears glasses? Who wears glasses? Old men. Ugh. I think you would look very handsome in glasses. I think I would look very old in glasses. Mm. And I think I would like at least a couple more years where I can look myself in the mirror and I can feel like I just don't want to do it yet. Okay. It's your funeral. It's not... Is it that bad for you? Are you worried? It's what are you scenario. worried about? I'm just... I'm just if, if it's something that we can prevent now, I don't see why you wouldn't just get glasses. It is. He's saying I don't need it. It would be... He, if anything, he said that we could end up doing more damage if we tried to force prescriptions on me. Or, you know... Is that record player still in there? Um, yeah, might be. I don't know. I was listening to something earlier. All right, Paul. Well. Wasting electricity. I just forgot to turn it off. Okay. You know what? What's that? I'm a little worried about Jackson. Why is that? Boomy. Oh, Boomy. Yeah. Where is he right now? He's watching Boomy. How long has he been watching it for today? He's been watching it for a couple of hours. He and I hours? had a, he and I had a little run in in the hallway, uh -huh. and he got very quiet and very, I think, very upset. And he went upstairs and he, you know, closed the door, and then I could hear Boomy on the table. Well, is his homework done? Yes. Okay. You think he's old enough to be watching Boomy? Yeah, I think Boomy's, uh, it's, I think it helps him concentrate. I know that sounds weird, but I think there's something about it. Boomy is, is a blue cat. He is, yeah. He runs very, very fast. And I think that the imagery and the way it's portrayed is kind of meditative for him, if that sounds weird. That's beta waves, Tom. He's not thinking about anything. No, it's different. Mm. And uh, I just feel like it's one of the few things that he has to himself. I think he feels very, you know. You don't think it's too violent? No, it's too, f it's, no, it's not, no, no, no. Who are you going to say, it's too fast? I don't think it. It's very the, fast. The point is, is that I think that he's, you know, he's having a bit of an adjustment issue. The new house, the new situation with your mother. I think we're all having a little trouble with that. Well, I think that this boomy thing is going to um, give him a little bit, you know, it's something that he can watch when he wants to. He can watch it on his tablet. And, uh, have a little bit of, you know, control over his life. I don't know how a blue cat is going to give your son some control over his life, but we'll give it a shot. He's young, you know? It's yeah. aspiration. To be a blue cat? To be a fast cat. I see. Okay. Well, we've all got to have dreams, I suppose. You remember that song? Which one? The Boomy the Cat song. I don't think I ever knew that song. I just, I don't know the whole song. I just, I've heard like little teeny bits. How's it go? It's like, uh, he's fastest thing. No, why is it? He's fast and he's blue. He's coming for you. He's Boomy the cat. He's your friend now too. I think it's just healthy. It's healthy. 
I mean, a little aggressive, but maybe healthy. Everybody needs an imaginary friend. It's not imaginary, it's a cartoon. Well, I know, but in his... He probably... You know what I mean. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Honey. Hey. Hello. Honey. Hey. Hi. 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 Oh. <laughs> hey. Did you? Hi. Did you? Did you water the Christmas tree? Oh. Uh, yeah. I mean, oh. no. Of course, no. I didn't. I'm not. Oh, uh, shoot. Okay. No, I didn't. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's uh, fine. It's, it's just. It's, gonna, it's one day without it. it. 
it'll still I'll uh, I'll, yeah, swing, but it was, I'll swing by there on the way back and I'll Okay. Just, okay. It was just totally dry. It was just totally dry, so if you could if Well you could did you water that. it yesterday? Oh I I water it every day, but I totally forgot today. And if you could if you could just go back and and uh Are you sure? How did you get dried out like that in just a day? It's just been cut, so it's really thirsty, you know what I mean? Okay. Well Do you think do you think that What? I just think that's weird. It no, was I, very yeah. It was very you know, I don't know. It wasn't wet, you know. No, it's, it's just it happens it it's happens an indoor on, tree. No, I know, of course, but you know, when you first go um, cut them down there, they think that they're still in the ground, and so they have to keep sucking up water really mm-hmm. quickly or whatever. But you know, it's, it's I can find deal. out all this stuff. You they? know, I, I read I read a great deal. Huh. Yeah. Um, oh my goodness! Oh, I, oh, oh! Wait, what wait! Honey, I found $20 in an old pair of pants. Let's order everyone pizza tonight. Will you call it in? And I'll pick it up on my way home. Honey, I'm going to run out and grab a pizza. I'll be right back, okay? okay?
See you in a second. Why you look so nice? Bye, honey. Bye. Are you still there? 
Yes. Man, these phones are just. These phones don't work at all. Hey, honey, how's it going? It's going all right. I was just, um, I'm at the store and they got these, uh, free samples uh-huh. for these, um, these new chips. Uh-huh. I mean, the crackers. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, is it chips or is it crackers? They're more, I think that they're, they're as thick as, as crackers, but mm-hmm. they're really, I just think that we should probably, I should probably bring these home. Okay, we'll we'll bring a few, but don't bring too many because we have all of those those crackers left over left over from the weekend. Right. Right. So yeah, just bring just bring a few home, I guess. And and you didn't say are they are they chips or are they crackers? Well, they're they're kind of in between. I mean, I should just oh, what so I then, should do? Can uh-huh. I just come pick you up and we'll come back and and uh, you can try these out for yourself because I think there's you know. Okay, you really use your input here. Oh, that'll be great. That'll be great because it's right next to the that other store. Yeah, the books. The books. Oh yeah, we got to we got to pick up a couple books for that thing. Um, what you what oh. have you been doing today? Oh, you know, well we cleaned out the gutters, so that's good. There, uh, mm. there was. I mean, it was it was crazy. It was like autumn happened three times or something like that. You wouldn't believe all of the autumnal detritus I found in the in the gutters there. Yeah, um, we should probably but, think about cutting down these trees. Oh, Those. that's probably okay. That's I mean, they, they do they are nice and shady in the summertime, but I I, mean, I just I wanted them mean. to I wanted them to be trees that maybe the kids could play on, but you know they they grew they they cut, they don't have any low branches. It's true. Oh, I mean, maybe we could build a little something around it, and That's then they could idea. get to the to the top branches there, and then just think, cut off all the the leaf bearing branches. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe Den- Dennis could probably take a look at the at them and see about building one of these uh those houses, oh, tree houses. That, that's probably a good idea. Have you have you talked to Dennis today? I mean, not no, not not today. I it sounds like he's got a a little ear infection or something. An ear infection. Yeah, I told him that he's got to go get antibiotics, but he just he's no, got to give the, the infection to the kids. Well, you know, I don't think I don't think it's contagious. I just think it's pretty pretty painful for him. So we gotta, you know, make sure he gets some antibiotics. You want me to buy him antibiotics? Okay, okay, yeah. Oh, oh, no, yeah. No, no, you're no. at the store, I guess. Oh, he needs a prescription for it though. That's what I'm saying. I don't think we pay for that. No, we we should no. But why don't you pick him up first? And then we can take him to the little minute clinic and get him some antibiotics, and then you can come get me, and then we can we can see about those chips. Honey, these chips are really, really expensive. Well, that's what we're going to get the samples for, right? I might just get them. Oh, but I mean, well, how expensive is expensive? I mean, it's expensive enough that I probably wouldn't want the kids to have them. Okay. I mean, well, they're like. They're really good. Maybe we could put them I mean, in the I mean, the price house. reflects the quality of the, the I taste. See. I see. Of course, of course, of course. You get what you pay for. Yeah. I okay. think they're more like crackers, though. Okay. Like, you well, could put something on them. Oh, that's great. Oh, well, then maybe we should get something to put on them. Or I can, maybe I can whip something up here. We can have it for, uh, for like a before-dinner snack with the kid. Oh, shit. I don't have any money. Do you, how much uh, money do you have right now? Um, in the account or in my pocket? In your wallet. Um, oh, uh, $26 and 35 cents. We're going to have to get some more money out if we're going to get <laughs> Hi, Tom. Is it okay if I use some extra data from the family plan this month? We have a big project in my AP Economics class that I need to work on with some other people in the class. 
we are probably going to do group video calls a lot. Also, didn't you say you know some economics news? Like I think that we have to talk about China's economy and how it relates to the USA? I don't know, but I'll need the extra data. Maddie, that sounds great! I didn't even know they offered that class at your school. I'm very impressed. Let's bring this up at dinner tonight. I have no problem with it, but your mom will probably want to have some input since the phones are technically in her name. I'll clip some articles for you and your friends to read. Maybe I could help lead you guys in a group discussion. I'm more than happy to. Economics are really in right now, so I'm excited you guys are getting your feet wet. See you tonight. Love, Dad. Hello, my name is Jackson Redacted, and I live in Redacted. I am the biggest Boomy the Cat fan in my neighborhood or at school. I have seen all the TV episodes at least three times, and I have seen the movies ten times. As you can see, I am a serious. I can sing the Boomy the Cat song from memory. My favorite color is blue, but I love Boomy so much I call it Boomy Blue. I wanted to ask something because I can't bring it up to my family. Is Boomy real? I know he is a cartoon. But there has been several times I think I've seen him near or around my house. It's hard to say because he runs very fast, but there have been several times when I'm pretty sure I saw him. We have a lot of deers in our backyard and I like to watch them, but recently it looks like something is chasing them around and I'm pretty sure it is Boomy. I'm really excited to find out.
need you guys to listen up, okay? So, two weeks ago this thing happened. You're not gonna believe it, so I'm just gonna have to show you, okay? Okay. Uh, ju just the thing that I need you to do is not move. You're moving. It, uh, Sorry. Stop. Okay. Guys, guys, leave the room. Come on. I think your mother. It's okay. Let's go upstairs. I'll. We'll be up there in a minute. Honey, you want to show me what? Uh, what's going on here? Hello. Hello. What's up? I really bit my lip. Well, do you need to, to pick up some Oragel for it, I guess? Oh, I think yeah. that we have some. Hold on. Let me check the medicine cabinet. Hold on. Hold on. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. we got, uh -huh. we have, where you have some Oragel up here? You can just, I really, you can just do this. Oh, I no, no, no. Really, I think I have sharp teeth for some, for like, uh, I think well, my, we, my teeth are sharper than normal. Well, should we get them shaved down? Is that a thing you can do? Yeah, I mean, you can do whatever you want. Some people can put in, in fake sharper teeth and, you know, if you want to, you can in, in dull. Why would they want to do that? I mean, I think that people think that it looks dangerous or something like that. People like to look dangerous to one another, I imagine. Man, you would, you could really hurt yourself. It's true, I know. I, I mean, I wouldn't do it personally. Oh, hon, this Oragel is expired. You're going to need to pick up another another oh. jar of it, yeah. Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, the Tylenol is expired, too. Goodness, it looks like no one's had to use it. Then, oh, since 2010? Oh, my goodness. That's, that's before. That's before we met. I know. Do you think it could, is it, do you think it's bad? I have definitely no, used I'm it sure in the past fine. five but years. But imagine if I, imagine who you, if I had, if I had had a headache in 2010, where would I, I, I wouldn't have been able to get get any pills from you. Oh, isn't that a funny thing to think about? My goodness. Yeah, I have well, to go get some myself. That's true. Well, I mean, now you have to get some yourself too, because I gotta, I gotta pick those uh, kids up from school. Who, who's, who do you pick up first? Oh, oh, I hold on. Let me check the schedule. Let me see. Oh, uh, Madison has chess until five o'clock. So Didn't she really go to those chess, those chess classes? Of course she goes to chess. Why wouldn't she go to chess? Well, I, I, you know, you hear things. Okay, okay. Um, great. Oh, gosh, while you're out, do you think you could pick up some toilet paper? There's definitely a need mm -hmm. for some toilet paper. Cool. I, I can't go. I don't, I don't like getting toilet paper. The only what place is, what, that I like. The only place that's close and close to where I'm gonna be driving is that r really small shop. Oh, well, and it's always well, got that you... it's always got that guy in there, and he always I got toilet paper from him one time, and he gave me this look that I just like can't ever get out of my head. It makes me feel so uncomfortable when I go there. It's just this look that's just like this is what oh. you choose for for right. this. Right. Right. Well, why, you know, why don't you just go somewhere else, like a, a bigger store with a less... Yeah, I have to get on the highway. Okay, okay, well, I guess and we'll go without... I mean, we can just use paper towels and I'll mean, go tomorrow. You, I'm just saying, you know what we should do? What? Order online. Oh, my gosh, why don't I ever think of that? That is You could get a, a recurring idea. order sent to you. Oh, we my We would gosh. never have to go to the... Have that awkward interaction with that horrible... Horrible 
man ever he's, again. He's very, he's very judgy. You're right about that. Oh, he's not um, judgy. He's he's very he's like prying. Oh. Like oh, he's looking he's like he's looking into about. the future at, at, when he looks at me. What, who? Which one are you talking about? The man in the small convenience store where I used to buy toilet paper and I don't go to anymore. The tall man or the short man? It's like if I go there and I get a candy bar, he looks at me like, I bet you're going to eat this candy bar. But if I get toilet paper, he's thinking I'm going to do something else. Oh, well, I mean. I just don't want people thinking about me like that. I know you're very private. You are very private. Well, okay. I mean, Hey, I got a question. Yeah. If my hands are too sweaty. You do have wait, did you say slutty or sweaty? Sweaty. Slutty. You're crazy. <laughs> no, your hands are just fine. Just fine the way they are. Because I was eating like those those uh those little chocolates. Mhm. All over my hands after just a few seconds. I must have really warm hands. Well, were you holding on to them too long? I mean, that would happen to anybody, I think. I don't think it was. No, I just got them out of the bag. I hesitated for a second because I was saying something. And before I put it away, I looked. It, it was maybe two seconds. Oh, what were those things made of, though? Because, you know, They've none got of that. They've outside yeah, and chocolate but, on the inside. Yeah, but none of that. That's all, that's all food-grade wax now. It's not good for you anyway. Really? Yes. None of none of us has anything but true grade wax and corn syrup in it. That's why it melts. It's not real. How do you know all this stuff? Well, you just read the ingredients, honey. Yeah, but no one reads the ingredients. You, I That's guess what they're there for. Everybody reads the ingredients. Do you have to do that at work? Cool. Do you have to read the ingredients things for people? I Well, no. I mean, you know, the people that I work with can read the ingredients for themselves. But they always but you have to, reading. yeah. You don't, you don't have to give them a, a quick once over just to make sure they haven't missed anything. You know, I mean, I should, but I don't. I mean, maybe that's, maybe that's bad on me. Maybe I should, maybe I should be a little bit more, you know, yeah. thoughtful about what's okay. Okay, I mean, I can see what you're saying there. Yeah, okay. So maybe I will read ingredients for our friends. That's okay. Okay. I yeah. I'm so, my lip hurts so much. I really it's bit still it. Still hurting. Yep. Oh, man. Well, then you're going to have to go uh, to that store. You're going to have no. to get toilet paper and orange uh, I'm you sorry. Guys, you're just going to have to do it. It's fine. It'll be totally fine. Okay. Another, you, okay. Can I, say, I I got one more thing. So that? Jackson sent me an email. Mm-hmm. He wants to make origami. Okay. He, there's a class. Okay. At the, at the hobby shops uh-huh. downtown. Okay. Where you can learn to make origami, but you need a, an adult. To go with you? To fold paper? Apparently, it's a liability thing. I I, I looked into it. They, it's a liability thing, but I can't mm-hmm. go. So can you go with him to the... What day What day of the week is it? The class. It's yeah. well, I don't know, Thursday. Okay. No, today is uh, Thursday. Today is yeah, Thursday. No. Would it start, it's it's today? No, 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 no. It's Tuesday. Oh, next Tuesday. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me take a look at the calendar. Okay, okay. How long does it, okay. if I get a canker sore, how long does it take to go away? I think it depends on your age, your health, and uh, maybe your height. I'm not sure, but I would have to check on the height thing. But, yeah, it definitely depends on, you know, if you're eating healthy and if you're, Brushing yeah. your teeth appropriately and all that. Yeah, so. pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, definitely. You're yeah, both average. That? And most things.
Jackson. Do you think Jackson has any friends? I think a couple. I mean, like, if their parents weren't bringing them over, do you think they would want to come over on their own? Yeah, absolutely. Did you take out the trash? Shit. We'll just do it early in the morning. Yeah, I'll set an alarm. Okay. Oh, dear. If I set it up too early, the deer will get in it. So we'll just wait till a little later then? That's fine. I just hate that. I just, whenever I add stuff to the morning, I just always forget something, you know? Mm. I need one of those, I need one of those, uh, those things, uh, it's like an, an, it's like a checklist that's animated on your phone. Oh, just write a list. Yeah, but I just, I don't like carrying around extra stuff in my pocket. I mean, I spent so much money on this thing, I just don't know. I don't even use it for email. I mean, who am I going to email? Everybody I talk to lives here. character in my book died. Which one? Arthur. How many is that? Twelve. Are you okay? I just don't know. How much, how much longer is your book? Twelve. I don't think, you know, it could be one of those books where people come back in the end. You know, they've been thinking you know, time travel and stuff. Hmm. A book where the characters time travel in, in very, very large numbers. Like a bus full? You'd want to read that, wouldn't you? I'd love to read that. That would be pretty good. <laughs> I could write that. Get cracking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Get Jackson to help. Well, that'd be a good project. He's always got his head in the clouds. Oh, time travel clouds. Sweet, the sweetest, funniest cat I ever did meet. He's <laughs> booming around. He's booming, the bluest in town. So cute. I don't know. Did you get wet wipes? I know I forgot something. I'll get them tomorrow. I feel so guilty getting those. 
Just don't flush them. Can you get can you get ones that you can use in the compost? Hmm. I'll take a look. I can start a compost. Are you, uh, are you giving any more thought to the charity donations for uh, holidays? Well, we already donate our time. Well, there's places that we don't, we aren't able to go to donate time. Right. They have that, um... one of those countries that's right on the western edge of Africa. Ghana? Mm -hmm. Smaller. Ghana's pretty small. Ivory Coast. Cote d'Ivoire? Mm -hmm. No. Smaller than that. I'll look it up. Mm -hmm. Finally, something to do on this thing. Jesus. Do you think that. I mean, I got this phone through the school. I, do you think they look at my history? Oh, most definitely. So, do you think if I looked up West Africa, it would look weird? I think West Africa is fine. You might be concerned about other things, though. Like, I don't know, other things. Uh, what if I spell Africa with a K? I think maybe. Oh, maybe that's. Oh, it's a band. Oh. Huh. I'd like, you know, we haven't been to a concert in a while. All right, well, that band looks like it's pretty successful. Hmm. All right, let's do it without the K. I think I throw them off. Throw them off pretty good. <sighs> it was Togo. Oh, uh, Togo, of course. And there's so many little little guys just crammed into that little yeah. space. I always forget about Togo. I don't think you'd be the first. You won't be the first. You won't be the last. I was in a band. Hmm? No. Yeah. When? That was a long time ago. What was the band name? Fireball. Fireball? Mm hmm. How many people were in your band? Four. Oh, yeah, what'd you play? That's the <laughs> singer. Ooh. Well, I never. <laughs> I don't play any instruments. You probably could have guessed that. Yeah. I did design the album cover. No. Yeah. Where is it? Yeah, you've lost to time. Hmm. 